Cause she's shaking it for daddy, yeah. she's shaking it for me. Yeah. She's shaking it for daddy, yeah. she's shaking it for me. She hey, buddy, because welcome back to my channel. This video is on uh, my hair. My, you know, actual hair. I have a hair salon and I'm going to be doing a hair review on this hair. Um, I guess my real hair. Um, I guess my actual hair. Um, I guess my real hair. Um, my hair sheds really, really bad. It's been shedding really badly for the past um, four or five months, and it's really, really stringy, and it's not as thick and as healthy as it used to be. So I just wanted to make a video, start well, starting today with my first wash, to show you guys what I do, and also to get some suggestions from you guys to what I should and should not do to it, because... Um, I don't know, it used to be really, really thick and pretty, it's, you know, but it's not as pretty and as thick as it used to be. Um, I do wear, you know, sew-ins, I do wear quick weaves, and I do it all the time, but I've never had this much of a problem with my hair that I do now. Um, I'm not sure if it's stress or whatever, but it's been um, really, really, you know, as, it's been thin and not as bouncy and things like that. Um, so this morning which is my first day, so this is my first day of this new regimen. Um, I washed, I shampooed and conditioned it with the shea butter. I wanted to use the um, the new one that they have right now, the Moroccan oil um, and olive oil, something to that nature. It's in a green um, bottle, but it's not um, on sale yet, and I had these that I use on my daughter's hair, so I wanted to go ahead and try it on my hair since it works so well for my daughter's hair. So I washed it and conditioned it with this, and I um, added the, um, after I washed and conditioned it, I towel dried it, let it air dry for maybe about 10 minutes, 5-10 minutes, and then I added the Effigy, um Live-In Conditioner, which I took out of the bottle and put it in here, because it's easier for me to, you know, put in my daughter's hair. And then I added the Carotene um, and Green Tea, and then I added the, um, Silk, the um, silky, sexy, sexy hair. Um, a friend of mine that um, works at a salon, she does hair. She gave me this, and this is really, really nice. So I like using this on my hair after I wash it. So after I wash it, um, it did not shed as much as it usually does. So I'm not sure what's going on. Um, when I took my quick weave out last week, it shed it really, really, you know, badly. So I'm not sure what's going on, but today did not shed, shed as bad as it did. Um, but I, go, you know, I added those and then I combed it out with my detangler comb. And this is what it looks like prior, you know, after I did it. So you can see, you know, after I added everything and I combed it, how stringy and, you know, how it just look un it, it looks dead. It looks very unhealthy, and it does not look nice at all. It's, you can see how stringy it is. Um, it's the you know the um, the hair itself is just it looks like it's not um, in a good state. It looks damaged, and I'm not sure why, but I know why. Um, that was a lie. I know why. I haven't been taking care of it as much as I should. I haven't been, you know, doing the things that I should, that I used to do to it. So, you know, I got to get back to that stage. Um, my hair was really, really short last year. Maybe it was about four inches since I, you know, I had cut it. So it maybe about four inches. So it had, you know, it has grown a whole lot. But it's not, you know, what it used to be like. So, um, and then... You know, so it's it's not as good. So um, after that picture that I show you guys, and after I wash it and stuff like that, I blow dry it, and I use the Revlon blowout blow dryer, and I love that blow dryer because it it blows out your hair. You know, I'm not sure if you guys understand what I mean, but when you blow dry it, it blows dry it straight, as opposed to you know it being puffy. It blows dries the hair really really straight. So this is what it looked like after I blow dried it. You can see, you know, after I blow dry it, that it's, you know, it's already straight. I don't need to add a lot of, you know, heat to it because it's already straight. So, um, after I blow dry it, it's straight. So, I went ahead and flat ironed it, and this is what it looked like, flat iron. I didn't have to do a lot to it, and the flat iron was um, at a low setting. So, what I did is I plugged up my um, golden hot blow, um Fly iron, which do not have a temperature gauge, so I plugged it in, let it, you know, heat up for a little while, and then I turned it off. 
so just so I can use a low heat. And then I just flat iron it. I don't like my hair straight, so therefore I don't want it to be a bone straight flat iron. So this is what it looks like after I flat iron it. You know, it's a good length. Um, you know, I wish, you know, it's not too short. So I like the length. It's a really nice length. And I'm also hoping to grow it in this process with this new healthy, you know, this new healthy regimen and, you know, washing my hair and co-washing it and doing well by it. I'm hoping to, you know, for it to grow. Um, I need to clip my ends because I'm not sure if you can see. It's very, very shaggy. So it needs... I need my ants clip because it's just, you know, I hope you can see. You know, it, it needs to be clipped. So I'm going to do that um, when I do my co-wash on, I'm not going to do that next week, Um, not with my co-wash. I'm going to do that when I um, wash my hair next week. I'm going to try to wash it at least, um, shampoo and condition it at least once a week and co-wash it twice a week. So um, I'm just to keep it moisturized and keep some moisture in it so it won't be as dry and as dead as it is right now. So um, this is the hair. Um, these are the products that I'm using. I'm going to try to use the Moroccan oil, um, um, the organics of Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner, the new one that's out. Um, I'm using the Afrogy, um Keratin um, Reconstruction Reconstructor. I'm using the um, leave-in conditioner. Um, I'm not sure what else to use to help it from shedding and, you know, the breakage and things like that. I'm going to try the um, the two-step, the Afrogy two-step, but I used it once, I think like a couple years ago, and, oh, my God, I did not like it at all. Something about it I did not like. But I'm going to try it again because you got to give products a try. you got to give it time to actually work. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it uh, maybe today. I might buy it today since I'm, you know, out. I'm about to get out the house or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it today, um, put it in next Saturday, and see, you know, how it does, to, what it do to my hair. Um, I hope the shedding will stop because my hair shed like nobody's business. It sheds like crazy. Every single day I have to you know, um, sweep my bathroom floor every single day because it sheds so bad. It sheds so bad that I try to blow dry my hair, do my hair at my little, um, at my vanity area because it's carpet and it's easier for me to just go ahead and vacuum it as opposed to the bathroom and it's, it's all over the sink. It's just, it's not, you know, it's not hygienic. It's, it's something wrong. I just... I don't know. I'm not sure what to do about it. So I'm going to go ahead and try that regimen and see, you know, what it does. Um, every month I will give you guys an update on how my hair is doing and if it's working, if it's not working, if I'm going to tweak something or try something new. Um, but this is it. This is my hair right now. This is um, month one, day one of my new um, healthy regimen. Um, I don't want to go natural. I've tried it. It's not for me. Um, being natural is not for every girl, and for me, it's not it. Um, but I want to have a natural, relaxed type hair. Natural, relaxed, well, not natural, relaxed, healthy hair. So this is that's what I'm looking for, and this, that's what I want. So hopefully, you guys come back to watch me um, start this journey and also have some suggestions for me because I'm not a hairstylist. I don't know what I'm doing. I look to you ladies to see um, what I should and should not do and see, you know, what regimens you guys use and see if that, you know, add that to mine to see if it will work. So this is the hair. This is my hair. It's perm. I had a perm and, um, December, like late December, and I usually try to get a perm once every four months, um, every, yeah, once every four months, which is a total of 16 weeks, so um, there it is, um, hopefully you guys can, you know, give me some suggestions and um, see how it goes for the next few months, thank you so much ladies for watching, have a nice day.
拜。